Hey, Bob Elvis here, Stump Running, take one. I uh, took care of that big old stump over there. That was one. I found a couple other small ones in here. In two. Possible. One, two, three little ones. So I'm just going down the line. It's 518 when I start. It's 551 now. And right here, there is a point of reference. It's an oak tree that you like. And this is a laurel oak and I'm driving my sump grinder by and I look up on this beauty here I mean your house should be sitting somewhere here I hope they let you take this one now you're gonna have to you're gonna have to take most of these time I mean, there's a little nice live oak here don't know what's gonna happen with that it's a shame if that one would have to go but up this one laurel oak laurel oaks are bad news when they get big I mean you see it let's see if this thing will lighten up there it is I mean, there's a this thing you see like in a storybook where owl, owl lives up in a hole. That's the base of the top to that thing. And a high wind, it can come crashing down. So before your house is built, I suggest that thing does definitely come down. All right. I think it should. It's right on the footprint of the property. But anyway, moving along. This thing's in the footprint of the property. There's a little white oak. Got a big hole in it. That thing over there got a hole in it. This thing over here got a hole in it. But this should be past the point. Another reference point. The oak tree with the big dead wood hanging in it. I don't know how I missed this. But. There's a little white oak tree here. Not sure exactly what species of oak they are yet. I'll study it though. But there's one tree right here. This is where the little tree was laying on the ground. But there's a tree right there. There's not a stitch of green on that. I may be able to. Before I pack up out of here with the stump grinder, I could put a notch on that. I got to drop it. I can cut in a few pieces and put it in your firewood pile. Probably take me 20 minutes to half an hour by myself. And that's $75 an hour. That's pretty cheap. Like $37. All right, in one of the other videos, I mentioned that I had to take this tree down anyway. It made it a lot easier for me to drop this big one here. And this big hickory, you see how rotted it was. But here's another one. I wanted to save that, but there was no saving that. And I think that's it for now. I'll go on down the line. If I spot anything else, maybe I'll just bring yellow paint. But like I said, you know, those are in the footprint of the house, the ones back there. So oh, we'll just remember by this video. This message will self-destruct. Tell me about that because they're going to do a tree evaluation. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.